After waiting weeks for an apology, for him to come crawling back and making my friends call me to make sure my phone was working properly, I finally received a Dear Jane letter in the mail from my boyfriend who I'd moved to Yuma for and who I'd lost 50 pounds for. It was several pages long. <laughs> for the first time in my life, I didn't have a fallback guy. I'd always had them lined up like bearded, flannel-wearing nesting dolls. <laughs> sure, I'd lost 50 pounds, but I'd plateaued, and I had another 20 to go. I had to drop the rest ASAP because my ex was an artist. And before our breakup, I posed topless for him. He had a huge oil-painted canvas of my face and breasts hanging on his wall. It'd only be a matter of time before he found a new model, a skinnier one with breasts that were too big for her frame, breasts that didn't even make sense, breasts that made you mad at God. <laughs> My emotions were operating like a game of Jenga. Each time I refreshed his MySpace page looking for one of his new models, I didn't fall apart, but he teetered. Nine o'clock on Saturday night, I'm in bed alone with carpal tunnel-like symptoms from masturbating. Not, not the sexual frustration kind of masturbating, but spiteful, hateful masturbating. <laughs> I don't need you to have a good time. I've got 10 dicks right here, so deal with that. <laughs> While flipping channels, I land on E. THS investigates fad diets. I stared at the screen, mesmerized by all the fast fixes for fatness. Several years ago, I tried ephedrine when it was legal, combined with laxatives. I lost a lot of water weight and almost my job when I left work early multiple times due to explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Somehow surprised by the fact that stool softeners actually cause loose stools. I've been too afraid to try any pills on the market since. I had a full-time teaching job now and that stuff is not for people with shit to do. <laughs> I sat through all the diets explained on the show, none of which were affordable. One segment featured tapeworm, but I couldn't bring myself to buy something I could catch swimming in a lake for free. <laughs> Winona Judd came on the screen. Not who I wanted to look like, but she'd lost more weight than I had. She was taking a diet pill called Ally. Ally was available at Target. I threw on some sweatpants and headed out. Buying diet pills is always embarrassing, kind of in the same way buying condoms is, except at least condoms mean you're getting some. Two girls, 17-ish, get in line behind me. They're flawless and aware, in shorts and bikini tops at Target. I wouldn't even wear that at the beach. What are they buying? One G-string, one toothbrush, and a 24-pack of condoms? A 24-pack? Are they running a business? It's really confusing when they call things STDs and STIs. I mean, which is which, you know? The one in the green bikini stated her frustration. Totally, her sidekick agreed. They were my birth weight, and I was alone. <laughs> Buying diet pills on a Saturday night, so in a state of panic, I answered a fake phone call. Hello? Yeah, I got them. Are you sure they're the ones you want? <laughs> oh, it's okay. You can pay me back. Okay, yeah. See you soon. Bye, Mom. <laughs> they fake smiled at me. Tearing open the package, I threw away the instructions. Instructions are for rookies. I knew how many pills to take a day and when to take them. And there was a warning about consuming foods that were high in fat, but I don't eat fattening foods anyway. <laughs> it's Monday and school's back in session. I've been on LA for two days and avoided fatty food, but my hormones are a mess. I was about to start my period. I stood on the playground feeling bloated and frumpy like the before on every makeover show. Lunch is approaching, and it's time to shame eat some Wendy's in my car. <laughs> I'm sitting in the shopping center parking lot, ducking down in the driver's seat and discreetly inhaling a Baconator and fries and a shake. 
After a few deep, painful burps, I bury the evidence behind the driver's seat, and I'm back to work. I head off to the bathroom to pee on my 10-minute break. As soon as my ass hits the toilet seat, someone jiggles the doorknob. I need to hurry. My eyes focus on the crotch of my underwear, like I'm trying to find the image on a magic eye poster. <laughs> it's orange, but they're white. My pee is still yellow, but there's orange on the toilet paper too. Where is this carrot juice coming from? <laughs> I dig through my purse and scan the warning packet, hoping for an explanation, and there it was. Ally has a chemical in it that serves as a fat blocker. So when you consume something high in fat, it automatically drains it from your system. The drain being your asshole. <laughs> the juice all over my panties was fat juice like the kind you see around a roast when you take it out of the oven. <laughs> the, <laughs> the kind you throw away in the trash because it won't drain. The kind that stains. The Baconator was high in fat. So were the fries. I didn't have loose stools. I had anal leakage. <laughs> and I couldn't change or go home sick. I had a classroom to run. Pawing at the toilet paper roll and raveling it frantically like a hamster on a wheel, I blot myself until the, most of the orange disappears. And in this frenzy, it didn't occur to me when I was filling up the toilet bowl with half a roll of paper that the odds of it going down successfully were about as good as me losing more than water weight from this stupid fucking pill. The doorknob jiggles again. I get it! Rather than completely flood the bathroom, I let go of my basic human need for sanitation and sink my hands into the coagulated water and start shoveling out the toilet paper like I was on Double Dare. <laughs> With the trash can full and the toilet flush, I washed my hands and up to my elbows. I opened the door and faced Dave, the school's only male employee and heartthrob. Sorry about the delay. Someone made a big mess in there, and I cleaned it up so no one else would have to. It looks like one of the kids got in there and had an accident. <laughs> he smiled and shut the door. I'd left the bathroom smelling like a combination of meatloaf and vanilla air freshener. <laughs> Never in my whole life have I ever been more aware of my butthole. I couldn't unknow the fact that underneath my tan pencil skirt, there was an oil leak. I'm the BP of Saguaro Elementary. <laughs> it was circle time and the children gathered round on the carpet. I adorned my lap with my cardigan, wishing I had an extra one to sit on, or perhaps a rubber sheet. I began Dr. Seuss's, oh, the places you'll go. Oh, the places you'll have irony. <laughs> I'm breezing through the pages, the children are engaged, but my stomach sounds like the audio from Black Hawk Down. <laughs> I know it's just a matter of time before the levees break, and I reflood my panties with fat juice. I turn the page and read on. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. I wanted to cry. Not just a few tears, I wanted to ugly cry. Like Claire Danes in my so-called life. <laughs> my anus was slowly leaking and most li likely forming a stain on my business casual attire. I was in a slump. Because I wasn't going to lose those 20 pounds and even if I did, I wasn't going to be happy. It wouldn't bring my ex back, not like this. 
A symphony of gas bubbles rang through my stomach and out of my rear. I attempted to drown out the serenade. So be sure when you step, <laughs> step with great care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. I squeezed my asshole and clenched my teeth. I needed to get outside. These were lucky farts. But they were happening closer together, and that wasn't a good sign. I discreetly grabbed a chunk of pages. The end! I'm standing on the playground supervising a game of Duck, Duck, Goose, and I notice a jaundice-colored drop on my leg, and it hits me. The leakage had surpassed my underwear and was heading down my legs. I did a couple of these little flamingo poses because it's yoga time in my pencil skirt. Good news, if it was going down my legs, that probably meant it hadn't reached the back of my skirt. And then the farting increased. These were not lucky farts. And then it happened, that one fart the one that sets you apart from everyone else who hasn't shit in their pants today. <laughs> My Hanes Her Way underwear felt like it had a load of mashed potatoes in them. I casually ran my hand across my backside. It had gone through. Did you know you have a yellow spot on the back of your skirt? It's my boss. <laughs> really, I do. It must have been that yellow. I must have sat in the yellow watercolor the kids were using earlier today. <laughs> Just another hazard of the job, right? She laughed and walked away. It was 3 o'clock, time for me to go. I made one last stop at the bathroom and did the only honorable thing a practical girl can do. Took off my panties, threw them in the trash, and drove home commando in a shit-stained pencil skirt. <laughs> I threw out the diet pills and ate whatever the fuck I wanted. Because I had to face the inevitable truth. As Dr. Seuss said, all alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. Thank you. Thank you.